So, hello and welcome back. Now, today, we're going to mess around with the Atco Kickstart Lawnmower. Now, I haven't touched this for ages, right? So, uh, I've actually got, let me show you, a new Kickstart spring and a new float. Well, a second-hand float, but I'll show you mine in a minute. So, let me show you what I'm doing. So, this Atco, the, the spring's broke. Well, would you believe... I can't believe how easy this was. I thought I was going to have to take the whole side panel off and everything. I undone this, and it's literally just fell off. And this piece is literally just a separate bit. So I can't believe it. I only done that, and it just comes straight off. I, I thought it'd be a lot more difficult than that, and I just pulled it out there. So that's actually shocked me, because I was having a look at this, because it's quite late in the day. I'm off out tonight, so I didn't really want to get into a big job on it. But, yeah, unbelievable. So, uh, I know it needs painting and everything, but I'd like to get the kickstart on. Um, I'd like to get it running, actually, because I've had it where it started up, but not actually ran. And there's something wrong with the clutch as well, because it's not engaging. So, I wouldn't mind having a look at that either. Um, so, yeah, let's get the new spring on. So, there it is, people. Look at that. So, this may be a bit fiddly. I'm not really sure if I can record much of this. Um... But yeah, let's let's have a go. Now, obviously, because this spring, spring was broken, I'm presuming this is how it went. Um, I could be wrong, so if I am wrong, tell me and I can put it back. But uh, this is what I'm presuming. So I've just got to line it up and push the rod back through and then put the bolt on. But I don't, I don't know if this is right. This is all trial and error, to be honest with you. Well, I think we've got that right first time, look. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Hang on. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's good. Yeah, I'm lucky. It's the same float. This is what I problem mine. I, I had holes in it everywhere, and I tried to bodge it up, and yeah, I think it was. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, that all makes it heavier, doesn't it? So it's not sitting right. So I just thought, oh, nuts to it. So that's gone. And then I bought this one of eBay for four pounds second hand. So it's not bad for four pounds. It's like a new one. So uh, yeah, perfect. Let's uh, get it in. So, the kickstart works. I've blew the carburetor out as well. Um, so, clean the petrol tank. What I need to do now is get some petrol and then we'll try it and see if it'll go. Because this is, I can't remember this, I think this is 25 to 1. Um, I can't remember. I'll have to have a look. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to try it and see if we can get it to run this time. Because last time I kept getting it to fire up and then it instantly cut out. Um but like I say, that could have been a bit of an issue because that is a lot heavier than the other one. So I had to bodge it because, well, I didn't have another one. It's just lucky there was one on eBay. So I've just made some petrol and put in it. So this is two strokes. So I was told 25 to one. So that's what I've done. Um, <laughs> now, so I have had this running once, but it didn't run very well because that float chamber was knackered. The float itself was gone. Um, it did leak petrol out, which I seem to have Look at that. I did solder the tank. Um, I haven't recorded it, but I have soldered the tank. Um, I blew it all out, so hopefully, it used to spark. I haven't rechecked it, but it, we'll find out. So like I say, let's have a look. So, um, right, let's uh, turn the petrol on. Oh, I can see it's just gone in there. Oh, petrol's coming out. Shut. Last time I give this a bit of throttle. Um, so I might just try it off and then move it a bit more and try it a bit more and we'll have a go. Like I say, whether this will go or not, I'm not sure. So uh, let's have a look. Oh, oh. Maybe get, let's have another go. Oh, that's a good sign of smoke. So, I think I'm going to have to check the, uh, the timing on it and a couple of other bits. So, unfortunately, I've not got time today. It's getting a bit late now. So, uh, I will come back to this another day. 
Thanks for watching. Um, like I say, we didn't really achieve much on this today, but we've had a look at it anyway. Um, so we've got the new spring on, we've got the other floating, we've made some petrol, we've just got to now try and get it to actually go. I mean, we can get it backfire, but we can't seem to get it to go. So if anyone knows more about this than me, let me know, because I literally know nothing on this. This is a bit of a complete unknown for me. Uh, so yeah, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.